Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Madden 21 relocation franchise as the Gunners. So, really quickly, we're just going to take a quick overview of the team. We got 79 overall and 80 defense, I believe. Offensive lineman's not looking too hot. Um, the offense itself isn't looking too hot. We got AJ Brown, Derrick Henry, they're pretty good. I like this guy. So, actually, if you look at the um, superstar, or development trade upgrade we learned that it's r davis who's actually gonna get the upgrade if we complete his mission correctly so what we're gonna do really quickly is we're actually gonna shift him to the top is it the best decision to make for winning the game no but it's gonna help us get his superstar or his trait up to normal or sorry his trait up to star because he's already at normal and then eventually hopefully we can get him to superstar Defense is definitely looking a lot better. We got three superstars, including Kevin Byard, Harold Landry, and Jayon Brown. Uh, Daquan Jones doing pretty good. Other than that, yeah, our team's looking pretty good right now. A few things I want to look at before we get into this game is, I believe, going to my team and salaries. I believe we can see who's taking up a lot of cap space and who's not. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem to be here. There's somewhere for it. I just don't know exactly where it is. I'll find it eventually. First things first, we got a Dory Jackson to sign. Go and sign him. I want to keep him around. He's a very good cornerback. Big part of this uh, defense. And of course, this is our first contract signing, meaning we have plenty of cap room to waste. Well, not waste, but you know. Plenty of cap room to spend. So we're going to go ahead and give him 7.5 mil and 4.6 mil as a bonus. Hopefully he takes it. Okay, so he's going to want a better bonus. We'll keep that in mind next time we try and sign him. And we'll go ahead and we will look at college players to scout. So let's look at some of the needed positions on our team. Quarterback is a D. However, I do like our rookie quarterback right now. Um, maybe let's think about getting a new right tackle. Other than that, right end could use some work. So let's go ahead. There seems to be there's two good right ends in this draft put both of these guys on there mm, we don't have many actually good draft picks so we won't actually do much with drafting itself we'll probably get one first rounder uh, by trading our future draft picks and then maybe about like a third round pick to pick up a right tackle and that's probably all we're gonna have in the draft we spend a ton of draft picks on last year's draft which was probably a mistake being that we busted super hard but all right Let's go ahead and talk to Rashard Davis, who isn't a rookie, come to figure out. Or maybe he is in 2020, but we're in 2021 right now of the football season. So let's see what he wants. Really appreciate how you involved me in the game plan. Yada, yada, yada. Game day goal. Get Rashard Davis two tutties or 100 yards rushing receiving. Not too complicated, especially that he's going to be our wide receiver one. But let's get right in versus the Bills. All right, starting on defense, coming in heavy with the mid blitz. Love dialing up the blitz just so the Bills can know what they're dealing with here. Coming with Jayon Brown. And that is not good. Not good at all. Their tight end. Does he have a touchdown? That's terrible. That is the worst way to start a game. Look to self, never call mid blitz ever again. That's never going to stick. Well, that was a short defensive drive. Hopefully our offense can show the same fire the Bills offense can. Oh, well. Alright, so we're out here on offense. Hopefully we can get the same kind of luck that... Th well, I wouldn't say it's luck. It was more skill than anything. Hopefully we can get the same fire they have. We're running out with the RPO. Our Davis over... Rashard Davis. We recently learned his actual name. We're trying to get him his superstar development trade upgrade. Anytime we can throw it to him is going to be good. Let's make this read correctly. There we go. Throw it to him immediately. They were uh, playing over top, so I was pretty confident that I was going to throw it to Rashard Davis, but I didn't know. Coming out in dagger, great play. Rashard Davis on the crossing route, which is going to... Which will probably be where I throw it, but... Never mind. Johnny Smith wide open for the first down. Actually, I wouldn't say wide open, but you know, he caught it. So, time to get cooking now. We tested them with our run to Rashard Davis and Johnny Smith. Now we're going to set it down there. Down there, gullet. Derrick Henry. 20 yard ru 21 rushes for about 200 yards. Pretty good. For pretty good. Honestly, I kind of expect Derrick Henry to have better, but... 
Let's do our best to get his X Factor activated as soon as early, or as early as possible. I hate to try and prioritize a receiver over other receivers, but we do want Rashard Davis to get his yards, so we'll do our best to. There we go. Fit it right in that window. Go ahead. We're just going to do our best to mix it up just so they have no idea what to predict. Derrick Henry rush. This looks like a pretty nice hat box or hat counter. Yep, about five yards. Maybe more? Okay, 10 yards on the play. That's going to be one to the counter for the Superstar X Factor. That, uh, whatever it's called, the train ability. Is it freight train? Yeah, it is freight train. That's going to be super useful. Called the post play. And just like they did last game, our rookie quarterback misses a throw on that the same exact play to Johnny Smith. It's okay, though. We're going to call the dagger again. We got Adam Humphreys on a curl instead of a streak, because I don't see anything getting open on the streak. And we throw probably a, no, not probably, a risky throw to Rashard Davis. We do our best not to target him, but at the same time, we kind of have to go ahead and collect this third down if we can. AJ Brown tried to get the rack with him, didn't work, so we're just going to take our field goal. Take our three, hopefully our defense can get something. All right, we're back on defense. Uh, we actually learned that the Bills have John Ross, who's going to be a speedster. Do our best to bait with Jayon Brown. All right, nothing big, so defense did their job. Ideally, we could have forced an incompletion or maybe even an interception. But you know, four-yard gain, not the worst. Trying to come out and cover three is... The Bills seem to be very pass-heavy, so go ahead and try and stop that. Lay a big boom, nothing happens. Kenny Vaccaro is a heavy hitter, but that's a tight end. I don't expect him to fumble that. <sighs> now, I know what I said not too long ago about mid-blitz. All right, so we've marched down to Buffalo's 10, having a very good offensive drive, learning the mix between Derrick Henry and the passing game, running a very heavily based West Coast offense. Hopefully, we can finish this off without making... Quick pass to Derrick Henry. Try to get him to truck his way into the end zone. Doesn't work so hard, but it's okay. Now we're on two. Good run. Play action power O. Um, this is a very heavy hitter's play. It's going to be Johnny Smith or Patrick Ricard, I believe that is. I'm not exactly sure who that is. Johnny Smith wide open, but her 66 overall rookie just cannot make the throw. So, this is a very risky play, but... We're going to fake fullback middle, hoping that maybe their defense will bite on the fullback dive so that Derrick Henry's wide open, like right now. Touchdown. Okay, so definitely still in the game, but we're not in an ideal spot. Hopefully our defense can do something, because if our defense can't, then we are not winning this game. All right, so a fake field goal to Jonu Smith later, and we're knocking on our opponent's seven-yard line, hoping to get this touchdown, ideally with uh, Rashard Davis, but, you know, we're not trying to force anything. Derrick Henry putting us in a nice spot on the two-yard line. RPO looks nice, so we're going to rely on this RPO, and hopefully, ideally, we can get something open on the left part of the field so Rashard Davis can take this touchdown, but once again, don't want to force anything. And yeah, nothing was open, so probably forced that more than we should have. So now we're gonna go into shot. Oh, not shotgun. Gonna hope Rashard Davis can get open on the zig, but this time we're not gonna force it. We're gonna look to our other targets. There are still about one, yeah, one and a half quarters left, so we don't need to give it to Rashard Davis, but it would be ideal if we could. And that is almost a pick six. So that's, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens when you try and force something. Now, one of our mottos has been big balls, and it happens to be fourth and goal with two yards left. So you already know we're going to try and jam it up them with Derrick Henry. I don't think this will work, but I'm confident that if it doesn't work, we can get a safety. Yeah, okay. I'm confident we can make, we can force a safety here. Because I'm almost positive they're going to run it to Devin. Yeah, it looks, it's going to be, 
heavy run to Devin Singletary from what I can see. Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could because in this situation... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was right. It was definitely a run to Devin Singletary. And apparently committing run doesn't actually do anything. I committed perfectly, yet he still gets like 20 yards. Alright, so we stop, managed to stop them on defense, however they managed to stop us on offense. So here we go, 55 yard field goal. Certainly not a give me, but this will, this won't put the game away, but it will give us a comfortable enough lead. Meaning that, well, it won't put the, like I said before, it won't put the game away, but it will, it will give us a good, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. It'll give us a good enough lead where we can sit comfortably back, handing it off to Derrick Henry without having to worry about slinging the rock. Ideally, we could get another touchdown with Rashard Davis, but that's ideally, and I'm not sure it's totally going to happen, but we'll do our best. Alright guys, so we managed to force a fumble while our opponent was on offense, and here we are, on, right on their 15, knocking at the end zone. Now we have a chance to put the game away with a touchdown. A field goal would also help, me, leaving them down two scores, however, I think a touchdown just ends it right here. Following the fumble recovery, Colbert. And that was one of the dumbest throws I've ever made. To be honest, I meant to press a different button. But you know what? Let's not think about what we could have had. Let's be thankful for what we don't have. And that's an interception. Okay. I went down with the slide because I did not want to fumble. Third and 13. I'm kind of throwing away this wonderful field position. But I'm honestly okay with the field goal here. I would, obviously, I'd much rather a touchdown. But... I can't believe that wasn't an interception. We got bailed out so hard by the game. There's no explanation for that. That should have been an interception. Um, you see, any wise man would go for a field goal here. But our motto, big balls, is telling us, go for a fake. And they read it. They read the fake. And they're going to get a fumble return touchdown off of it. So that's what happens when you guys go big balls. Um, well, that's awkward. Uh, we don't want to talk about it. We, we, we just don't want to talk about it. Go to the next clip right now. Please, go. Alright, guys. So some lucky Bills plays later. They have a lead by eight, and they have the ball. They just forced a fumble on us, which quite possibly might end the game. Having a lead by eight, this with this little time left, we do still we can still get the chance to get the ball back. However, it's if they get a first down, the game is just over. We have to stop the run. It is vital to the game. We must get this big stop. And if they pass it, well then the game is just. Well, <laughs> as I was saying, so I think what we're going to do now, guys, is we're just going to try and get Rashard Davis his, uh, we need 50 more yards for him to get a superstar trait. This game's over. If we, 50 yards would be a great achievement for Rashard Davis. I wouldn't say it's likely, but we, man can dream. So, that sucks. That is going to be our first loss of the season against the Buffalo Bills. I greatly underestimated them. A few dumb plays that I thought were me just trying to make some big plays happen, but in the end they were just dumb plays. So we're gonna do our best now to get Rashard Davis his final yards that he needs to get his superstar development trait upgrade. Hopefully he can get it, because that's really we need some good to come out of this game, because not much has. We just try and run some slants, try and get this game over with, but at the same time just get Rashard Davis his remaining yards. So guys, I'm sitting here so confused, yet so happy. The challenge that we needed for Rashard Davis, I'm almost positive we didn't complete it. I believe we needed 200 plus yards or two touchdowns. We only had one touchdown and about 190 yards, which was a huge blow to the gut. But apparently, uh, we got it. Rashard, Mr. Rashard Davis now has a star development upgrade, which is great news, and I'm not sure how much we deserve it. But, yeah, so this was a sad loss, but you know what? It was a real um, reality check. We know that we're not invincible. We can't beat every team. Be and, yeah, so Start this is going to be... It's definitely a tougher like week now we have to plan. verse the Rams. They got some great defensive players. And offense is really where this team shines. So, it's going to be a tough week. But, hopefully, we, we won't call as many stupid plays. And, hopefully, we can beat them. And, actually, that 0-3 record 
might say otherwise to their good team apparently but we're gonna ignore that we're gonna do our best to just just try like it's the Super Bowl get this win and yeah so next week we'll scout negotiate upgrade and that's it for today uh, thank you so much for watching if you enjoy if you enjoyed this video or you enjoy Madden please like if you want to see more from me please subscribe and peace